Okay, welcome to part one of five for unit three population notes. Um, in this video, we're going to look at generalists and specialist species, which is really, hopefully, a review, um, as we talked about those in when we were talking about biodiversity. And then we're also going to look at K and R selected species. So, um, if you remember from the last unit, uh, generalist species essentially have a large range of ecological tolerances so you don't have nearly um, as much competition because they're not as specific whereas specialist species typically because they have a small uh, tolerance range have more competition so when we look at um, things that change when we're looking at habitat disruption generalist species will do better than specialist species will do um, K-selected species are one of the two types when we're talking about population growth. A K-selected species typically is larger, at, uh, as in like their mass is larger. They don't have as much offspring in each reproduction event, such as humans. We only have one per reproduction event, usually. Uh, the environment is typically stable. There's a lot of, uh, of energy that goes toward each offspring. Um, there's usually a later maturity. Um, there is a lot of you know growth during the youth, youth age, youth uh, years, and they have parent parental care. The lifespans and life expectancy are longer. They will usually reproduce more than once in their lifetime, and the competition for the resources in their habitats is usually pretty high. So there is more competition. So you can kind of get an idea of some of those species. Um, from the images here. An R-selected species is a little different because R-selected species will essentially have a huge number of offspring. They're usually smaller, they don't put as much energy into the offspring, they mature pretty quickly, um, their lifespans aren't very long. Um, some of these only reproduce once because of their short lifespan and their competition is usually a little bit lower. So you think of you know rats or um, weeds, ants. A lot of the insects typically tend to be our selected species. These are species that you know they're more focused on quantity over quality. So where a K selected species might be looking to have you know a few offspring and they have you know a lot of care, an R selected species they're they're going in, they're the numbers game. So when we talk about biotic potential, this is just looking at the actual reproductive rate um, at their maximum potential. So in this graph, this is a growth graph where you look per time the amount of the population. So this, you can imagine, is a lot of reproduction happening. Eventually it'll hit a carrying capacity, which we'll talk a little bit more, but the carrying capacity is the point at which there is there aren't enough resources to allow the population to grow any larger. The biotic potential is basically this slope. What is their potential growth per time um, when they have unlimited resources? Typically we call, or well not typically, this is denoted with the R. That's that, that, that graph here would be, the, or the slope would be R. And so that's where our species come in because our species are fundamentally using their biotic potential. Um, with the duckweed lab that we're doing, because we're gonna be graphing duckweed's growth over time, we're actually gonna calculate the biotic potential of the duckweed. And you can find that by just looking at their growth until they hit their carrying capacity. So, as far as all species falling into one of these two types, like K or R, um, it's not really that simple because they just, you might have some that follow one or some that follow another, or there's different conditions that make them change their strategy. So not every species will be a K or an R. You could also generalize almost any species to find out if they're closer to K or if they're closer to R. So um, as far as these species being affected by an invasive species, 
Um, a case selected species is usually negatively affected because, as you remember, their competition is much higher. So they have, if they're a more invasive species, they're going to have more competition, which is going to make it harder for them to thrive. Whereas an R selected species, because of their lower competition rate, they are less affected. Um, typically, a, an invasive species itself is an R selected species because they reproduce very quickly, they have very little competition. Um, and they are usually generalist species. So that's the end of the first part. We'll do part two next and head on over to the next video for part two.